So we have a small piece of clay, right? And it has a mass of 40 grams. Uh, 40 grams is 0 0.04 kilograms. And it's moving at quite fast at 30 meters per second. So see, notice how I'm going to draw everything out. So important to draw things out. It then hits a block that has a mass of 1.6 kilograms. And it is motionless, I think. It's at rest. And they're on a frictionless surface. Afterwards, right, we have the block of wood, or whatever, the block, and the clay stuck to it. And the question is asking, what is the speed after this? And then also, what is the impulse? So let's talk about the speed first. For the speed, you're just going to do M1, V1, or M clay, let's say that C, for C for the clay. So this will be 0 0.04 times 30 plus the mass of the block times the velocity of the block. But this whole term becomes 0 because the velocity is 0. He's not, he's not moving, right? Is equal to the mass total, I like to say, mass total times the velocity total. But the mass total is, what is it going to be? I get 1.64 kilograms, 160, or uh, 1.6 plus 0.04 times V2. And so that's pretty simple math. And you get a velocity of, what do I get? I get the total, the final velocity is going to be 0.73 meters per second. The second question, though, is the impulse question. If you recall, impulse is the letter J. I know that's weird. Um, and that's equal to F times uh, 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 seconds, okay? Or it's, uh, yeah, uh, but impulse is also equal to MV. So what impulse is being imparted to this? The only impulse is coming from the moving clay. So the impulse is these two numbers multiplied times each other. So when you multiply these two numbers, I got 1.2. And the units on that, because it's in forces in newtons, and seconds is in, I should say F times T, and that's in seconds. That will be newton seconds. So that's how you do question here.